Blinka, blinka, blinka. Yeah, so we do this thing on adafruitdaily.com, and it's uh, a newsletter. And it's all about Python on hardware. So look at the Python on hardware newsletter on adafruitdaily.com and sign up for it. Or you can just tune in every week and see what's going on. The latest issue of Micromag is out, and they did a review of Adafruit Clue, the circuit oh, Python yay. Adafruit powered board. I got a 10 out of 10. That, 10 out of 10. That's almost perfect. That's, no, it is perfect. Yeah. We need almost perfect. It's almost perfect. Okay. <laughs> um, so check it out. It's a free download. It's the community made magazine for the micro bit community. Also, guess what? Mm. First look clue at make. They did a video. Caleb did a awesome job going through all the stuff that goes on clue. Now, the only drag is, you know, the clues are going to just take a little while to get out, but we're working with our partners and we will get clues out to a lot of people. Drew, who was on the show and tell and who uh, did a fantastic job helping out everyone getting the virtual open hardware summit going, um, showed off the badge. And this is the final version. And you can see it is circuit Python powered. It is much like the clue, but is a wearable badge and they are working to get these out to all the participants. Okay, uh, I like this. This was a quote from InfoSnack. Which is a great name. Cool name. Uh, I'd rather focus on hardware, so I'm pleased on how little time I needed to spend in programming the Feather. Circuit Python is fast for prototypers. The working code is about 100 lines and totally readable if you already know Python. No tooling necessary. That's right. I love like to not tooling. Yeah. No tooling. There is some cool games and more. If you have any of our hardware, there's uh, Pi Portal games. This is a dice game. The video that we did uh, last week with that, Microchip. Was that last week? Last week is so that, far away. That was like it feels two like months a ago. month ago. <laughs> yeah. We did a live the, IoT Python yeah. video. So it was all about CircuitPython. We worked with Bob at Microchip and the team over there. Thanks for having us. It was already a virtual event before. I guess they, they, uh, they decided to do virtual events a while ago. So we were able to just uh, participate here. Um, we released our Adafruit I.O. video where we show all the things you can do if you want to do IoT projects while you are at home. Go to adafruit.io. It is free. You can do a plus account if you want. That's a way if you want to give us some money. Keep this thing going. Um, and it, there is a lot to do with CircuitPython. Uh, we have some learn guides. This is the egg drop project that JP has been working on. Hackster did their microcontroller Monday segment. Clue. Again, we were just getting ready to ship out all these clues. A lot of people got them. Um, Jeffler has been working on some cool stuff. This is some people behind our scenes. Jeffler works on CircuitPython. Melissa has been working on all sorts of ways to plot stuff. And that is the circuit Python, Python on hardware, MicroPython, MicroBit, all rolled up into one in this newsletter that we do every single week. Yeah. OK. Zoom. A lot of good Python news this week. A lot of good Python Creative news. Stuff.